Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, you got here just in time. I am exploring Lake Murray State Park in Oklahoma. This is such a massive state park. To give you a true virtual tour experience, I'm gonna have to break it into multiple videos. So each video is gonna open with this, and then we'll explore each camp campground individually so stay tuned great stuff is there'll, there'll be a whole playlist for this one it's a f big fantastic oklahoma state park so let's go explore lake murray state park Well, that brings us to Buzzard's Roost Campground. So let's go check out Buzzard's Roost. Lake Murray State Park. Man, there are, there is just so much to see and do here. Lots and lots of great campsites. Really sad to see all the litter in the campground though. So we're gonna go all, all the way to the end of the road. Ooh, lots of wind. I think I'm gonna have to stop and get the mic. Since I'm right here, that'll work. Let me edit that out. to the end and then come back into the camping loop so we can travel the opposite direction giving you the optimum view there's also some really great primitive campsites down here in some ways the primitive sites down here are better than the RV sites and you'll see why. There's your dump station for Buzzard's Roost. New restrooms and showers, playground. There's, there are three CCC constructs to view on Buzzard's Roost. The group pavilion and two uh, houses slash cabins. There are all, there's also access to the private marina slips down here by the boat ramp. They got signs all over the place down there saying, don't come down here if you don't rent. Well, there's also newer newer showers and bathrooms here for the tent campers. I hate being chased by dogs in state parks. It's just wrong. Over here to the left, you can see the boat ramp. We're gonna go 
go see some RV sites. We're gonna be going the wrong way. Oh no, breaking the law, breaking the law. These are nice. Yeah, there's water access on the on the left here. Nice level concrete pads. Water and electric. I don't see any sewer. Nice pull through. Some full connections back here. Not a whole lot. Roads really suck. Just saying. Let's move on. Let's move on over to Marietta's Landing. So that's brought us to the Marietta Landing Campground. The position just right. All right. So this one, I think, is probably the newest, newest, newly renovated campground here at Lake Murray State Park. These are, most of these are really great sites. And they have ample handicap sites. You sure can't argue with fresh concrete pads when you're RV camping. Remind myself to slow down for y'all when there's not a lot of traffic. Little Red just wants to run. That gentleman was giving me some good fish advice. A couple of other people had told me that the fish weren't biting, but he said, oh yeah, the little sand bass are, are turning up right now. We do have a cold front on the way, so 
it might be a good day to go do some fishing once I finish shooting all this video. That is all of the RV camping, but they also have some day use areas. So if you want to have a different place to fish or picnic, we'll just cruise through here. There's actually fishing down there. Can't go too fast on this gravel for sure. our virtual tour to Rock Tower. Well, that brings us to Rock Tower Campground, Lake Murray State Park. That, this is where I'm actually set up for this weekend. Let's go check out Rock Tower Campground. Such a beautiful summer. Temperatures this weekend started out at 101 on Thursday. It is now Sunday. The high is gonna be in the low 90s. My last day of, my last day of visiting Lake Murray State Park and camping at the Rock Tower Campground. Sunday, August, August 15 maybe? I don't know. Middle of August 2021. It's a very pretty little campground. But like with most campgrounds, it's got its good things and it's got its, yeah, not so good things. Have a ADA, a handicap site, just as you come in. I think originally that was a park host site. This is the day, or not the day use, but yeah, it is day use, but it's also tent camping. It's pretty rough gravel, so I gotta go a little bit slower. There's the rock tower. It's actually a water tower constructed by the Civilian Conservation Corps back in the 30s. Group pavilion. Excellent sunset view if you're a tent camper. And there's a couple of other construct constructs by the CCC over here. One of them is a stairway, and I don't know where that stairway goes. I guess it could be the stairway to heaven? I don't know, but it's going down. Next on our visitation list at Rock Tower Campground is the boat ramp. As with all of the campgrounds here at Lake Murray State Park, it is a dedicated boat ramp just for the campground. Of course, since there's not really any gatekeeper, 
you could just come down here and launch your boat. But I would recommend you doing the uh, parking app because we saw the, the parking meter enforcement car, several of them, as a matter of fact, yesterday. Well, here's the boat ramp. Not, not, not much of a boat ramp, you know, but it will do the job. Yesterday, this little turnaround area was full of cars. So cars and trucks and trailers. So if you, you really would not have been able to get turned around with a boat had you wanted to launch your boat yesterday. Our next point of interest is down here, and we'll come back to the RV campground. Now, I saw a deer cross the road right here yesterday. So on the left, as you can see, there's a, a very nice playground area. And I'll set you up for a good shot of the fishing pier, which is there. There's quite a bit of bank access here as, as well. You gotta follow the trails down into the woods. All right, let's go check out the campground loop. This is probably one of the roughest campground loop roads in the whole of Lake Murray State Park. So there's a couple of roads here in the middle. So we're gonna do those and then come back and go that way. Lots of pull throughs, concrete pads that are that are quite level. There are some fantastic lakeside sites. I don't have any choice but to go slow in this one. The roads are rough, rough, rough. Park campground host. Nice guy. Very helpful. Right, and since, oh, wait a minute, there's we missed a road. I almost shortchanged you. That brings us to one of the best campsites in Rock Tower Campground, number 17. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed that little ride through Tower Rock or Rock Tower Campground. 
Hey, let's go check out Martin's Landing. Let's go check out Martin's Landing. So we've made it to Martin's Landing Campground. Roads are pretty rough in this one. And here, just like all the other campgrounds, we've got the newer looking shower facilities. I was, I was surprised as I was. Timer, you can't drive those around here. I'm afraid I can. Huh? It's an ADA compliant mobility scooter. Well, you deal that with the rangers with it. Well, I'm just telling you, it's got to have, it's supposed to have tags. You deal that with the rangers and do whatever you got to. Send the ranger All around, right. I'll have that conversation. Okay. Here we go. There's some really nice sights in all of this state park. And as usual, some of the park host people seem to think that they are the authorities. Anyway, onward we go. We get down here by the water, the sights get really nice. I gotta tell you, these roads are pretty rough. It's 100 degrees today, have I said that already? Man, it's hot. All right. On the experiential video, I take you out onto one of these campsites. Me personally, I think I'd prefer visiting this park uh, in the winter. I don't even know if, if Lake Murray is open during the winter. They have a boat ramp, it's like most of the campsite, campsite camping loops here do. Easy for me to say. Right there and a courtesy dock. Over here there's also a day use and tent camping area with a swimming beach. enjoyed our ride through that campground at Lake Murray State Park, Oklahoma. This is a fantastic Oklahoma State Park. A lot of play great places to camp, a lot of interesting things to do, fun and interesting things to do. I guess we're done here. Hey, if this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd truly be honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, man, you know how much I appreciate it. That's why I get to do what I do. That's why I'm in this fantastic campground. Just look at this. Wait, wait, before we close, you gotta see my campsite. Look, that's actually water access. And I got, I have bobber in the water. Thank you for that. And for my patrons, you rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?